our starting or final segment for today. I'm joined by artist Yao Ling Li. Good morning, good everyone. Good morning. Especially Melanie. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Very good. Okay, so we have a task for you today. Yes. All right. Yes. We are going to do a charcoal drawing yes. of my co-host, Disani. I might want to say it's a task for you, Melanie. <laughs> Not really for me. <laughs> everyone. <laughs> Yeah, it's a task for you to, to teach me how to do anything artistic. Well, everyone look at you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have Isani, you're volunteering as the model today. I'm not, I'm not sure when to come in because I'm being asked to remain as quiet and as straight as possible. Well, once we start drawing, yeah, we need you to shut up and sit still. <laughs> so I've offered, I've offered myself to be the model this morning. Yeah. I hope that I'm in, you know, great form. Okay. Because I want you to represent me the proper way in your image. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of pressure, but we, we volunteered his Danny because he has no hair and that makes it easier, oh, yeah. right? I'm so sorry. <laughs> this was one basic shape oh, for the yeah. Where should we look? This <laughs> way, right? Okay, so um, let's just start off by talking a bit about charcoal drawings, yes. right? Uh, are they difficult to do? No, um, as I arrived earlier, I explained to you don't touch your face because this is a vein charcoal. Okay. Uh, um, then it's better to uh, work with a, a piece of a uh, rag or uh, okay. towel paper. Yeah, to wipe. If your hands sweat, then it's it's better to wipe your hand. Okay. Uh, because uh, we're going to work with our fingers okay. as an eraser, although we have an eraser already. Okay. Okay. And uh, this one easy to stain your hand, so don't touch your face. It might become black. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's just uh, like a pencil, like a, a graphite pen. But it's uh, I really like it. Yeah. Okay. Let's try. Let's try with it. Yes. And you love doing portraits, so this is right up your alley. Uh, yeah, but uh, today I think uh, people are more interesting how you come out, I mean, your drawing then. <laughs> well, I mean, we'll see, Zane. <laughs> I make choices, right? <laughs> we have some of the images up of recent portraits that you've done as well. I know you like to find people with interesting faces and you just ask them to sit so you draw them. I can't say interesting. I have to say handsome or beautiful. Mm -hmm. You have to say that. <laughs> Otherwise, no one going to pose for me, Melanie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get started uh, with Isani. Okay, uh, what, I, what I do is that you don't... <laughs> I got to keep my things still. Well, okay. Yeah, because the easel is not very stable. Okay, uh, what we do... <laughs> uh, yes, uh, what we do, I this, go... This is double hard balance double. and draw. Okay, go ahead. It's like a Kung Fu then. <laughs> okay, uh, you hold your hand. Um, I told my student, recently I have an exhibition at the, uh, the, the museum, and I told my student who took take, uh, my workshop, have a pose. You can you can do like this, and your hand flexible. Don't don't work like this. It's not good. Yes, but don't extend too hard. Just flexible. Just relax. Most important is your wrist. It's a, it's, it's it's not dancing, but it just keep it flexible. Okay. So uh, please don't move. Please, <laughs> our mother, dear mother. <laughs> okay. So first we have to locate uh, the, our subject. What we call subject. Okay. So uh, usually you can see it's an oval shape. But we're going to include this part of his sh uh, uh, sh uh, shoulder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hold, hold, a, hold a charcoal like this. Yeah, right. Okay. Not, not a pencil like, no. Okay. Yeah, right. And relax. Breathe. <laughs> relax. Yeah, right. Yeah. So uh, we're going to have him like, almost like a triangle. You see, the, including his sh uh, shoulder like this. Uh -huh. And please remember, this is uh, roughly uh, almost like a half an hour uh, a session for you and I. And at the corner behind the model, there's a, a Why drawing. Why did you give him hair? Uh, anyone has a wig? <laughs> okay. Sorry, uh, it's not funny. Let's go <laughs> ahead. Uh, well, this is the head, okay? But please remember, this is just a session of uh, half an hour. Okay. Uh, if you see, take a look at the drawing on the behind. That one takes six hours. Oh my so gosh. So please understand, it takes time. Everything takes time uh, to reach a level. And this is just uh, an idea I would really want to show you. And Melanie is following me right now. It's closely. something like that. Yeah, yeah, really good. Very nice. <laughs> You're yeah. lying. <laughs> yes, I'm lying. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, I have to say something sweet. Otherwise, I'll never come back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, all right. Uh, and uh, I locate the nose. Under, that's the way how I locate my model. Under the nose, there's a shadow, cut shadow here. Yeah, and his head slightly tip up, so that's the angle I like. Uh, earlier, I asked him to don't move because uh, that's the, the position and how I Clearly see Clearly, I'm pressing too hard. No, no, not at all. It's darker okay. than yours. Not at all. 
Um, please remember, Melanie, when you're drawing, you have to not look at me. You have to look at your mother. Okay, look at yeah, my mom. Yeah, you're not copying him. Okay. But you, are, <laughs> you have to uh, observe him and okay. look at him. And uh, you see the... So, yeah, that's, so that's, that's how I tell my mother. Uh, when you are working from life, meaning that uh, your subject is in front of you, you have to look at him and find the an angle you like. So I'm locating uh, to uh, chin up a little bit. Yeah, I think uh, too much. Chin, yeah, right, that's it. Correct. So then I'm doing the centers, locating the eyes, eyebrows. And I think for, uh, if, if our sitter has hair, then it's easier to locate, but because it's scalp. No, no, I'm serious, I'm talking uh -huh. seriously. Uh, people go to uh, our school, they have to study anatomy. Uh -huh. And the scalp is pretty amazing. There's a beautiful shape. I did a sculpture, head statue of a, a friend. Uh, he has no hair either. And uh, it's very difficult. I spend a lot of time uh, trying to get the right shape. Because uh, if, if with, with hair, it's more abstract. We can get it easily. Yeah. People won't understand if it's correct or not. Okay. But without hair, the shape has to be really precise. So, see, I'm locating my ear right here. So if I draw, you know, just a like, slightly like. From under the, the nose, nose to the ear? To the tip of the, his ear. Yeah, it will be like that. But remember, I think drawing everything is a, is a process of correcting. You see, uh, I'm not really drawing a line and I leave it. I'm mm -hmm. drawing many, many lines and I'm trying to figure out. That's the way how we, I think we, our model moves, but it's okay we tolerate that. Uh, usually I'm very um, precise. Uh, when my model moves, I say oh, we have to fix the position and go back to the original one. Otherwise, I have to change my uh, drawing. That's very different than uh, working from a uh, photograph. Yeah. Photograph, they never move. What's the hardest part of the, the face to do? Um, I won't say hardest part. It's uh, everyone's different and the structure is different. Yeah. And I would say not hard, but fascinating. Fascinating mm -hmm. just to work with different subjects. Uh, see our mother move. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> chin down a little bit, please. Yes. Every angle counts. and. Uh, they are professional models. There are people think that, oh, it's easy to just sit there and do nothing. But actually, no, it's really hard. It's really hard. OK, I got so an ear. Get... Yeah, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing wrong? OK, so that would be I, good I, I if, you, like... if you can draw a line here to locate the center of his face. And that, uh, that will connect you know, the center of, uh, you know, between his eyebrow, between his eyes, and uh, on the nose tip, you know, <clears throat> and goes down. In the middle of his lips, then go down to the chin. This one will be good. Yeah, very good. Right, right. For so as you use that as like the center of the nose. Yeah, the guidance. Oh, yeah, yeah the that looks like eyebrows there too. Yeah, right. So uh, then that means his eyes are a bit off. And we're still correcting. Okay. And the reason I use charcoal today because uh, uh, you see now I'm going to do this. You gonna shade the whole thing in? Yeah. Okay. And now I'm going to, okay, you can try to do like, like I do. Yeah, right, just don't be very careful. Just, just like this. Okay. Pretend nobody's here and you are shaking Like I'm mask. erasing my work. Exactly, yeah, okay. right, there right, go. good, good, okay, good. And then I'm using my finger and that's one of the techniques I love okay. to do. Our model moves slightly, yeah. <laughs> good, thank you so much. Now I'm going to use my tip of my finger as an eraser to, uh, to, uh, to draw, I will say, uh, to, uh, uh, to show you the highlight. See the forehead right here? I don't teach my advanced, uh, my advanced student this, but this is a way to go really fast. And I believe Melanie is very talented. She will be able to follow me. I want you first, and then I'll figure out my way after that. So what you did was put in kind of the shine of the forehead. Yeah, it's a, well, it's a lightest light okay. and the darkest dark. Okay. I'm doing it. I always tell my students. Uh, try to find a darker star and light it slight, and then we'll try to find a mid-tone, okay? Yeah, so we don't, actually we don't really need an eraser for today's session, yeah. But it takes time, please remember, this is just a demonstration uh, how we get to start it, okay? Usually uh, a drawing a size like this takes three hours. Uh, Whoa, yeah, I'm already hours. seeing the shape there, that's crazy. Okay, so you did good. Is, uh, use a thumb. <coughs> thumb. Yeah. Yeah, right. 
just to do right above that. Right. If I if I'm I'm going to show you. Yeah. Right. Don't 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 erase like that. You just go just like for example. Can you see the uh, the neck uh, from your angle? Can you see there's a, a light spot here? Light and yeah. shadow. Yeah. Okay. Just use your finger like this. And done. Good. Good. Okay. You see? That's perfect. Oh. You don't need an eraser, and it's, it's good. Okay. It's very good. So let's do the second one. Uh, try the forehead. Don't, don't do it like this, OK? Because that just Make sure it. your thumb is clean, OK? And that's it. Oh, you see? Nice. Mm -hmm. Right. Good, good. And make sure you just get rid of those uh, uh, charcoal on your finger, OK? That's it. And then we found a triangle, almost a triangle shape right here. And also, there's something interesting when we're working with uh, the subject as human being. Uh, you can see the reactions, and it's very, very interesting for me. <laughs> Sometimes the painting or drawing just reveal, you know, the person. <laughs> <laughs> like the fact that he does not enjoy sitting still. I'm trying now. to say something to make you relax. <laughs> okay. And also, we, uh, the other eyes, there's a slightly uh, light. I put my thumb. Good. Put uh -huh. my thumb, and here to just make a little highlight here. Right, exactly. Good, yeah. Okay. I might want you to shadow a little bit the nose. Okay. Your is not very visible. Just shadow it. Yeah, it was a charcoal. With this direction, see what I'm doing? Like oh, this. Up the and whole down. mess. You're right. The whole nose like this. <laughs> good, 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 good. So I think it's that. safe for me to say this makes me feel like a five year old on time out. It's the longest I've had to be quiet in a while. <laughs> You can talk. <laughs> you're not talk? doing your mouth yet. Yeah, just yeah. You just okay. try not to. Reaction. Right. Don't change your angle. Don't move too much. Yeah. You can I'll still say something to. to make us laugh. Isani, or... did you do art in school? SJC yeah. had an art Wasn't program. Wasn't the best. Yeah, I, I, I did art under the late Michelle Perdomo, quite honestly. And um, I realized it wasn't for me. I appreciate art, but I'm not the best drawer, painter, that sort of stuff. <laughs> Is that you've never looked more beautiful than my drawing. <laughs> I hope Why? you're giving me a fair representation stage? there, Marlene. <laughs> we, we should listen to him because uh, we need to keep him happy. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, please remember, uh, Mila, just follow your, your, your uh, what do you say uh, uh, right now, is that please remember the first stage, the stage like this, is never look pretty, okay? Because it's roughly, it's uh, loads of guidelines and everything, okay? And uh, the most important is that I focus and uh, have to enjoy the, uh, what we are doing. And let's go back to our, one of our hosts uh, who is uh, sitting for us. He, he just mentioned earlier he did, uh, took some classes early, um, long mm -hmm. ago. Is that long ago? Or not Very long ago. Long ago. Very I don't want to give ago. away my age, but yeah. You look still young, sure. though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's... Um, um, everyone can draw. <laughs> I hazard to see what Marlene is doing with you and not. Well, first of all, I've always been a notoriously <laughs> terrible artist. <laughs> so I think that's pretty much what we're highlighting. But I I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm doing, um, I'm being Picasso today. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're doing. Let's, let's get serious because our mother sit there really serious I for us. I know. Not pretend, but let's, let's try a little bit. Okay. More, just a little bit more. I know time limited. Yeah. We have very few time, yeah. but let's try. Now, let's, let's try. Let, but to be honest, you actually do teach people how to do this the right way. We're kind of just doing a quick demo, but you, yeah. you teach your students. Yes. I uh, just right, now I have a, right now, I have a charcoal. solo exhibition at the, uh, the museum. Yeah. And uh, it's a, a pretty much a fundamental work, portrait uh, figures. And uh, it's portrait in a charcoal, mostly in charcoal. Uh, oil and watercolor. Yeah. And I do offer also the workshop to the stu school students. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, uh, Stephanie will uh, broadcasting some of the pictures. Yeah. Uh, this will be the last one for the show, but uh, it's a project with uh, uh, the museum. And also, I get a funding I need from the niche. Yeah. I send a proposal and I get what I need. So, uh, this is a project of fine exhibition, actually. Fine solo exhibition. Mm -hmm. And we'll go to the first stop is the museum. And uh, and next stop will be uh, December at the uh, Banquita, Orange Walk, and also uh, mm -hmm. San Ignacio, Cise, and mm -hmm. uh, Benque, and also goes to San Pedro. Wow. 
and uh, along with them, um, every single one goes with uh, follow with a series of uh, workshops so. for adult and also for mm. school students. So that's uh, a serious tour. That's an extensive. Yeah, I'm very serious, Melanie. You know, I'm a very mm. serious person, right? No, you're not. <laughs> 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 no, uh, usually I try my best. And thanks very much to uh, Sapna, the president Sapna, uh, also mm. the uh, uh, Mr. Niche? Verno. Yeah. Right, and also Ilona, uh, she assists me uh, also on the way. Uh, mm -hmm. So and also many friends. Uh, I can't write very well, so I did ask assistance from a friend to uh, write part of the proposal for me too. Uh, so okay. uh, I think we need to reach out. Yeah. We are we are not we are not perfect, so we need to reach out for the people who can assist us to get mm -hmm. what we need. It's Definitely. very important. Definitely. Yeah. And uh, just How make are we things coming happen. along, Marlene? What's that? How are we coming along? Very good. I have to say very good. <laughs> Give him you. some hope. I think <laughs> Give him some I will hope. stick with my day job here. <laughs> what I'm hearing from you is a lot of scribbling on your easel, Marlene. I, I hope you're doing a very good job of, um, you I'm know. focusing on your shirt. That's easier <laughs> than your face. <laughs> and also one thing when I'm drawing is uh, we squint up one of our eyes to simplify the image. Mm -hmm. To so simplify. Simplify. Oh, okay. simplify the image. Like uh, It's like uh, you see the color of... Uh, uh, our host, uh, you simplify like uh, only black and white, mm -hmm. okay? Light and shadow. Mm -hmm. And now we have a uh, light and shadow. You can't look at me, please. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, oh, I remember right. you doing my portrait so well, yeah. though. So well. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. Yeah. Uh, I forgot what I was saying. Okay. You were saying that you squint your eyes. Squint your eyes. Really eye. capture just the light and the Right. Darkness. Exactly. Yeah. So right. from this angle, for example, there's light on his forehead. Mostly here. On the tip of his nose. Exactly. A little bit under his eyes. Exactly. On the top of the mouth. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So it's that's just... why we focus, and then the um, after we uh, simply find a shape, then we go to the meat tone. It's a whole process. Uh, serious business. Now you don't do the the whole outline. I mean look at the detail work of you did that on uh, for yourself. Yes I look at the mirror. That's a self-portrait. It's a self-portrait. I look at a mirror it's about six hours. Yeah. Wow. And uh, some drawing might take even longer but that one is six hours and <clears throat> those drawings you see from the, uh, the museum those are uh, basically three hours each. One session is three hours when people pose for me. Because, um, just try, you know, sometimes we need to keep our image fresh. And uh, drawing, uh, our drawing is still okay, but if we work with oil or watercolor, we try to keep the image fresh. It means that uh, we don't want to spend too much time, and the best is to leave some brush stroke mm -hmm. or some uh, 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 touch, and it's very important. You're laughing. What happened, Melanie? Because you're so talented, <laughs> and I'm so not. <laughs> no, I like yours. See, today at least you learned is how to a, use charcoal properly. Yeah. Is it a study in contrast, Marlene? <laughs> I like I think it. She gave you a bigger head than I did. <laughs> I may have underestimated but at least we can, the size of his We skin. caught something good. No hair. hair. We didn't draw any hair. No hair. So that's very correct. I think my ears are in the correct position. Yeah, I like mm. it. But I think I want to say is that uh, uh, the composition is very good. It didn't go too high, too low, too left, too right. Okay. So you're talented, I have to say. Some Yay! of my students, yeah, okay. Hard. I'm an artist. <laughs> <laughs> and then. And is a model. And the second, uh, you, you use, today you use a charcoal. And I see it the way how you shade it. It's really nice, beautiful color. Remember, uh, don't mix too much the, uh, the, 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 even the pencil when you do. Don't mix too much because it gets dirty. Okay. And sometimes it's good to leave those trusts. Those are uh, those just the first oh, layer. Oh, the places in between. Right, just leave them. Ah. Sometimes just leave them. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Cover no, 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 no. It's so much fun. There's many ways to do it. And okay. So much fun. Yes. Ah. Yeah. So. Uh, what, what is this? Is this a good uh, medium to start with? Charcoal. Let's let's turn around just a bit. Yeah. Yes. Is this a good medium for us to start with? Charcoal. Yeah, I think the photo very, very beginner. It's good to start with pencil, like a graphite, graphite, okay. graphite pencil, or yeah. yeah. And charcoal is essential. I mean, for for the student who really want to, uh, you know, learn the yeah. drawing. And it, 
Because yeah. you have to learn the light and the shadows and the shading. Everything is about line and shadow. Yeah. And drawing is everything. You can use all kind of medium, even like a color pencil to draw. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I think um, it doesn't matter which one. It doesn't matter pencil, graphite pencil, or chart con. Okay. It's the same thing. Okay. Slightly different the way how they, you know, the characteristic of the, each medium is different. Yeah. But mostly they are the same. Yeah. And... So, Yao Ling, how can people uh, learn from you how to be able to recreate their own portrait or paintings? Uh, first of all, I want to say that it's a learning process. I've yeah. been painting this for a long time, 20, yeah. 30, 40 years. And <laughs> I'm not mind. at all, okay, yeah, okay, I'm still young. I'm 18, okay. 14. Yeah. <laughs> all right, but I want to say it's a learning process. You need to have a passion. Yeah. You need to live to doing it. Yeah. There's no shortcut. Yeah. Really no shortcut. And there's no free lunch. It's all about how much you like it, how much time you want to invest. Yeah. And it's not that something you want to please anyone. Yeah. No. Yeah. Just for yourself. Because okay. you live to do it and you do it. And it's really long. It's a, it's a long process. And sometimes the result is not that important. It's the, it's the process. You need to enjoy what you do. Yeah. It's challenging because you really want to improve. Like this time and next time we want to improve a little bit. Yeah. So you figure out how you're going to do it. Whether you practice a lot and you find a method to do it. But the most important is uh, uh, learn with someone mm -hmm. who, who has experience mm -hmm. and uh, knows And how so to. your workshops, when are they going to be? Uh, well, um, I explained earlier, it's a, it's a serial workshop along with my exhibition right now. Yeah. And uh, this week will be the last week and I have... Uh, 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 probably three workshops, but mm -hmm. two is uh, from the student. One is for the student from San Ignacio, okay. uh, Miss Kate, Kate from uh, uh, Secret Heart, mm -hmm. and uh, the portrait, oil portrait, oh. working with oil. But they will, they will, they will work with uh, acrylic since yeah. it's difficult to get the oil for them, more expensive. And then uh, there's another workshop for another student. Mm -hmm. uh, if any school interesting, please contact Ilona from the museum. Uh, she will schedule the. Uh, the workshop for you and also provide a program. I offer four programs actually. Yeah. And uh, the most interesting is this Saturday, uh, I'm doing a plein air workshop. I think you heard about it uh, last time when I came, plein air, uh -huh. I mean outdoor painting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, I've been working with a group of uh, young artists also uh, very. Uh, so where are you going to be if we want to ah, see it? Uh, we're going to gather together at the uh, Le Bliss, uh, Bliss Center. At the Bliss, uh -huh. yeah. We got it there at 9 o'clock this Saturday. If anyone want to go, just come along. Yeah. Bring your sketchbook, your pencil, any medium you want to work with, oil, acrylic, watercolor, pencil, uh -huh. and anything, or even pen. Yeah. Okay? And we're going to work at the, uh, the hardboard, Belize okay. hardboard with the boats and the buildings. Ah. That's a very iconic yeah. Belize scenery. Yeah. So that's the first time. Uh, Lots of details, too. No, not really. If you squint one of your eyes, it's light and shadow. It's so interesting with okay. the light. I hope I, we have I a sunny will. day, yeah. <laughs> when I want an artistic view, <laughs> someone else squint my eye. You have to decide which eye you're going to squint. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for the crash course. Um, I know, as you said very clearly, the piece that you have there, your self-portrait, that yes. took six hours. So six hours, there's yeah. no way we could condense that kind of work in such a short time. Yes. But we just wanted to show just anyone can give it a try. Yes. And as much as I'm making fun of myself, it's not as bad as I thought it was no, going to be. No, not really. For my very first time doing a charcoal painting. Yes. And and just with your guidance as we were here. Thank so, you so much. All right. Well, thank you for coming in. Thank are you, you ready, Sandy? Do you want to come? The see? big reveal? You can move we're right not now. I'm finished. You I'll are. tell you the truth. <laughs> but maybe you should watch Yao Ling. You are, one you are first. allowed to move right now. That's Yao Ling <laughs> starting <laughs> off. I'm more interested in seeing your one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wow. <laughs> He's a nice person. <laughs> <laughs> you are a nice person. I gave him a best shot. <laughs> but there you have it. That was our crash course in charcoal painting with uh, Yao Ling. Thank you so much. You can contact her uh, through the Museum of Belize yes. or you can join her in the outdoor painting session this Saturday at the place starting at 9 a.m. Thank you. Thank We're going to so go much. ahead and take a break and we'll be back in a few. Stay tuned. Uh,